Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Meta P recording for NM Vape Reviews. I want to show off some of my ETIC batteries, 18650s. Um, I do need to get some tape and tape like the top of of a couple of them because the tape is coming off um, to protect them. But I have this eight that requires an 18650 and this. Um, 18650s are really good batteries, but they don't last as long as say in, in some of the internal ones so um, we have an AWT Hydrain battery um, I've been googling it I'm, I'm new on batteries so I don't know much about them but apparently you can't get higher than a 30 amp Hydrain 18650 um, so the 35 amp ones are more likely um, re-wrapped as a 20 but um, well, they are a 20, but 20 amp or 25 amp um, rewrapped as 35 amp. So this one is, I know I can't focus it in, but it's an ATW battery. Um, and it says 35 amp. It's not 35 amp. I wish it was, but it's not. We have an LG. Got So these two yellow ones I got from vaping stores. Two different vaping stores. This... EFEST one I got off eBay um, and I googled it, the EFEST one and it's a fake battery um, no it's a genuine EFEST by the company EFEST um, they've wrapped it, I don't know if they made it but it's not a genuine 35 amp like it says it's a 20 amp battery because people have tested these and they've come out to be a 20 amp battery so this is my 3000 milliamp hour uh, 35 amp battery this is what it says on it. Basically, it's not a genuine, but genuine what it says, but it is a genuine eFest. It's roughly about a 2,500 milliamp hour battery that is um, 20 amps because um, the more the more amps, the less milliamp hours you get. Um, that is true. What people have found out by testing them. So that's this is probably not a three thousand milliamp hour battery. To get a three five three thousand milliamp hour battery, you'd have to get probably a twenty amp, twenty amper. So we have this one, eighteen six fifty two thousand five hundred milliamp hour. Yep, that one. And then you got my LG. My LG is a whatever them numbers are. And we also have in the charger. Let me just grab the charger for you now just turn it around we also have a Samsung 25R which is amazingly good so let me just check yeah we have a genuine Samsung 25R in blue they probably were blue before they turned to green I just need to check whether my LG is charged um, but yeah we have this nice charger the EFEST one is okay but it doesn't last as long as my ATW or my LG for some reason. So there now, just test. That's nearly full. So I'm now just going to put these in here. This one, actually, my EFS one. I just thought I'd try it because it said three thousand million powers. Um, it's not what it says. So I'll put that one in there. How full is that one? Full to the brim. We'll use that one. I have ordered two, um, what do you call it? I can't think now. Two Samsung, yeah, Samsung 25 hours. I've ordered two Samsung 25 hours, which um, are genuines from eBay. So these are almost full. The blue one's taking forever to charge. The ye the yellow one is almost full. And I've also got this 18650 case. So when I'm out and about, I could take a couple of 18650s with me. Uh, this was a couple of quid off eBay. Nice tough plastic and you have a carrying handle uh, kind of just a little carrying handle so you can carry it around and you put your 18650s in here carries up to four and you protect them they're protected so the metal contacts are not being touched so they don't explode or anything happen to them so this is for when I go to work this is my work e-cig I use for work because it's all battered so I'm not that bothered about it um, but um, like I say, yeah, so it's handy. I, I like these things that I've got. Just thought I'd show off a few of the batteries. Um, 
I know you, you can't see that, can you? This I need to get a better webcam with focusing. So just checking that they're all fully charged. Because I need all my batteries to be fully charged. What's this one? This one is my EFES one, which is like, yeah, dead. Dead as a dodo. <laughs> my EFES one's always fucking dead. So, uh, excuse me, I'm just charging, plugging in my e to charge. I shouldn't really be charging it by this way. I could always take it out and put it in the charge if I wanted to. Which, but it makes no difference. So I'll just charge that one up and give you a vape. That is Summer Melody. What I'm vaping on by Bulldog Vapes. And in this one, we have my Pink Pussy. Pink Pussy. Pink Pussy. So, Balm Juice. So, yeah, me first one is what was six pounds on eBay, but it was like not very good. Wish I never bought it now. I bought it and it's now, yeah, a pile of poop because it's only a 20 amper. Um, according to a lot of people on forums and that, googling it. But, like I say, I've got my two yellow ones and the blue one. The blue one come with this white battery that I got um, off Facebook. This one has my ATW battery in it. These ATW batteries are really good, actually. They last quite a long time. Isn't um, I'm not sure what's true. I need a way of testing them to find out it, whether which ones are what. Um, when they say the 35 amp, they are not 35 amp because according to a lot of research, um, you can't get anything higher than a 30 amp. Um, really. So, oh, hopefully my 18 650s that I've just ordered will be better. So, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 batteries and that should keep me going for a while. Um, so yeah, just do a quick vape on this. This has been Maddie P. Just showing you my different batteries that I have. I have quite quite a few ATW on here. Um, yeah, I have quite a few different random ones. <laughs> I just need to like get rid of a load of batteries and start again, really. But what I've got will do me for now. So one vape, and then hope you've enjoyed this video, showing you off my batteries and just explaining a bit about them. Like I say, the the more amps you have the less million hours you'll get you'll have in the battery according to some research i've done um don't quote me on that um it's just what research i've found on the internet and people telling me So this has been Maddie P um, for NM Vape Reviews, just talking about um, 18650s. Do not, uh, before I go, I'd just like to say, do not use old laptop 18650s. When you get a, la a laptop battery and you take it apart, sometimes they have 18650s in them, don't use them. You only want to buy high drain 18650s. What, um, all these ones are genuine batteries, every single one of them is a genuine battery. Because I've tested them and, they're, and they've done the scratch code and they've all said they were genuine, they're all fine. Um, so I've got no fakes. I do have some old batteries from laptops, um, but I would not recommend them. Because apparently 18650s only get about 5 years use and then they're no good 5 years charging. So it's been Matty P talking about 18650. Sorry for repeating myself. And we shall catch you in the next video. Peace guys.